So this week I start templating for the uh, braces that are going to go in the new galley. Um, having a look at it, I've decided to use the close L polyurethane foam. Uh, here you see, we're just cutting it out. This galley is going to be super, super light. Hey guys, welcome to uh, Sailing Foxy Lady. This is my full restoration of a 1973 30-foot Arista Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. Morning, guys. You all right? Um, I'm just tuned in. I've been down here for a little while. Um, what I've done is I've refitted that water pump. Uh, I've serviced the engine, so a new fuel filter, a new oil filter, a new oil. Um, I'm just waiting for the tide to go out, and I'll get down and service the, uh, the outdrive leg. I might try and catch that on camera. Um, I'll just turn you around and I'll show you what I've just done now. Um, so prior, all the hatches had them little, you see there, little black surrounds, they're all round shaped. Um, so see this one I've made square with a, an architrave. I'm going to do the same here now. So I've cut the corners out, put it there, so I can put an architrave on and make it look nice. Uh, and there's also another little sort of little bit of ply tacked on there so the whole black stop you banging your head i suppose run around it uh, so i've taken that off um which actually makes this a lot nicer to walk through. but i prefer this being painted up a nice solid white than i do bits of bits and bobs attached everywhere um initially I was going to open this up a little bit, but actually that that there is the same size as that. Um, this is actually a measurement I've got. I've got got it from to, to design that other door, um, and that works absolutely fine. So rather than taking away any more strength from the from the shape of that sort of half bulkhead thing, I'll just leave it as it is. This is well. I've, Taking these bits out, it's going to get reinforced with um, architrave either side, so that make it make it a little bit stronger than the the flex it is at the minute, and also it also get attached to the uh, the worktop when that goes back in, and the shelves, um, shelves, shelves, all that good stuff. Um, I still haven't finished epoxy in this. I will do. I'll try and do it before I leave today. Get some thickened epoxy and uh, splooge that in there. But obviously that is pretty damn strong as it is. Um, okay, so I've got the, the sheets of foam at home, so yeah, okay, so I've gone for the, the, the foam sheets, they're set at home now, um, so what I need to do is make up the templates for the braces that's going to sit sort of underneath the worktop uh, and also form part of the, uh, the braces for the, for the, uh, the hull of the boat. So I've made these up. I need to work out exact spacings and how I'm going to do it. Whether I need a, a third one of these, like another one there. I, I've not done the measuring yet, but I've just, I'm just showing you that I've made up these little contraptions that are cut perfectly square. I've drawn the line on the floor where the workshop's going to be. These are perfectly square. So I can sit that there. And I've got a pile of scrap wood here. So all I'm going to do is do that basically, keep attaching them on, all the scraps of wood, so I've got the exact shape that it's got to be, and I think I've got enough wood to do that, well, I've got enough flowers to do two or three of them, so I've only got two of these cut, so I'll do the two, if I need to do a third one, I'll see I can go home cut the foam and then come back and, and redo them but that's what i'm going to be doing in memento uh what i need to do is i drew the lines on the floor here sort of quite hastily um last week i believe 
I'm just gonna check these, um, make sure it still works with what I want to achieve. And when I get when I get started proper, I'll uh, I'll start filming again. But and oh, on these when it gets back to here, um, I I'm going to have to cut these down into smaller pieces. I'll cut them smaller, so I want them to be the edge of the material on the back here. And then, yeah, I think you, you, I think you know what I'm getting at. I'm going to keep adjusting them to make them fit. When I've done this side, I'll then look at doing the braces this side so yeah that's all that's right now so give me uh five ten minutes to, to sort my life out and check my measurements um and i'll tune back in cheers okay guys all right this is the first time i've done this so you have to to bear with me i'm kind of copying um boat works today and he does it with scraps of wood and he glues it and his is a lot better equipped and experienced than uh, than I am. So we're gonna do it squaddy style as opposed to professional boat builder style. I literally um, yesterday all my old not all but a lot of old scraps of wood I had in the garage and chopped them up with a skill saw um, into slivers so I can try and get this pattern obviously I'm not wearing the knee pads that I've got just over there so I've got screws, I've got a drill, I've got a screwdriver This is going to take forever, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll be filming this one and then it will be going on um, fast forward.
Hey guys, so that's one done. Obviously, I know it looks absolutely horrendous, um, but all it's going to do is I can detach this, take the whole thing away, and that down a straight line across. I'll do 90 degrees on there because that is 90 degrees, um, and then my line, which I've got to take, I should be able to score onto the, uh, the foam uh, and have something not not perfect. But should be pretty perfect working with that. We'll see there's a, bit, a few little bits maybe, but a line from here to there, a line from here to there. And we'll see these little bits down here. That records the shape quite well. I so say I can't take credit for this templating. Uh, I say I stole it from Andy on, on Boatworks today. Um, but yeah, perfect. So I'm not even going to bother recording the next one, I've, I've captured it on this one, so I'll do the next one when it's done. I'll tune back in to show you what I've done. Um, yeah, that's two, two nipped. Cheers. Hey right, guys, this is the second one done. A um, little bit smaller on the detail down there. But nice big, quite a big flat surface, so. And then, yeah. I managed to get one square on the top here. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got one, two done. I need to take them home, do them in foam. Before I go, I'm just going to work out how big the main sheets need to be on these. Well, one, two more I've got to do here. Just so I get the right width of um, material to go here. But yeah, looking good for, for the first time. We'll see how it goes cut with cutting out the foam. Uh, I'll bring the foam down, check it in for, you know, make sure it's all right. And then I can start the start my press and laminating the foam. We'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, looking good. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys. Back in the, my hellhole called garage. Um, I've cut the first one. And there are. I'll just quickly show you how I've done it. So no, it's not it's not brain science, but um it should work something like that. So obviously this is the, the template that I made up earlier. Which right angle sheets of right angles um those are timber. So I'll get them both lined up. Uh, so, all I'm going to do, I've got um, it's a plasterboard knife, but you can use a standing knife, marker to mark it out, however you want to roll with it. Um, all I do, rather than marking it, um, I just score it with this. Funky little tune is um, my Makita battery charger for this. So, no need to copyright that YouTube. Okay, it's just scored out. We can now lift this off.
mess it. Easy as that. Right, this is number one. Okay, so tomorrow I'll, uh, I'm going to take these foam cutouts down to the boat. Just double check them for size, make sure I've made no um, made no mistakes. When I'm content there, they're the right size, everything I require. I'm going to get a couple of bits of ply and make a press. So I've got a big roll of CSM there, uh, the resin's on the boat. Um, but I shall do that tomorrow, touch wood. Um, that's me for now. So a quick tidy up. I need to release all my screws off of here so I can reuse it tomorrow for make another measure up for another couple of bits. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Cheers. Hey guys, so that's the one that I filmed doing um, a few minutes ago. That one's done. I'm ready to go home and get chopped out. Um, this one, what I've done, rather than the back edge being a square edge, because where this is going to be the, the return, it's going to be a smaller piece. The forward edge is the uh, the end. And also this one's going to have to be cut at uh, for about 30 degrees. So I'm going to cut it square the leading edge here and obviously then I can shave it off when it when I work out the exact um, angle and I'm going to get my little, little measuring tingy um, yep so that's all in normal score that's marking it out so it's a line down round 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 so I can now chop this out uh, take them home cut the foam out um, I'm going to take a load of polyester and tools and stuff home hopefully I'll remember everything um, get myself set up and uh, start layering up some of these, some of these pieces of uh, core. Wish me luck. I'll, uh, I'll tune in at home and try and capture what, what I'm doing. Cheers. Hey guys, so I want to do a sign off here because I always forget when I'm filming. I get too sucked into stuff uh, and don't realise how long the footage is going to take to sort of produce into a video. I'm trying to keep the video sort of 20-30 minutes. I know sometimes they go over 
Um, but I'm just trying, trying to minimise it a little bit. Uh, so the next video will be me creating the sheets, sort of trialling with the polyester on the, the closed cell PU foam. Um, at the minute, because I'm running a little bit ahead of um, schedule with my video in, I'm re releasing two a week now. So I'll release a video on a Tuesday and a Friday um, just to get myself a little bit covered, a little bit more caught up. Um, if you're enjoying the videos, if it's helping at all, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions, any comments, any suggestions, then feel free to put it in the, in the comments below. Um, but much appreciated. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Thank you.